My name is Rosemary Mallet, and I would like to introduce you to the music of Sister Rosetta Tharp. That may be a name you're familiar with, or perhaps not. I wasn't familiar with it until I saw a BBC4 documentary on her. Um, it was given uh, details of a tour that she made to the United Kingdom in the 1960s. And I remember an iconic image of her on a tube platform all by herself um, with her guitar. And she had her guitar slung over her, her shoulder in a very typical rock and roll style. And I just wanted to know more about who this woman was, because clearly from her age, she was not of the 1960s rock and roll era. And as a black woman with a guitar, who was she? Who was this phenomenal woman? So I went to dig and find out more information. Found out that um, she was born in 1915 in Arkansas to a sharecropping family, that she grew up in the church, singing from the age of four, that she developed her own style, that it came from gospel music into, into blues. And then with her guitar, she developed her own iconic, what would then be called, well, blues guitar, but we now know it as rock and roll. In fact, in 1945, she recorded um, a record which is seen as the first rock and roll record that hit the charts. She is in the Rock and Roll um, Hall of Fame. And in fact, she's known as the grandmother or godmother of rock and roll. People like Muddy Waters looked up to her and the United Kingdom, people like Eric Clapton and Keith Richards certainly felt that they were influenced um, by her style. So an early influencer, a rock and roll influencer. Now at her time, in her time, she was absolutely controversial because she came through gospel and then into blues. And then she was singing secular music and religious music. People like Ray Charles got caught up in that as well. But even before Ray Charles, there was Sister Rosetta Tharp. She was eclipsed in the 1940s by Mahalia Jackson, that great voice. But imagine that it was on her shoulders that Mahalia Jackson was able to stand. Sister Rosetta Tharp. When I was growing up in the 1970s, the only female guitarist I'd heard of that was in the charts in the United Kingdom was Susie Quattro. Well, can you believe that women like that, who were making their mark in the 1970s as rock guitarists, stood on the shoulders of Sister Rosetta Tharp, who made her mark in the 1930s and 40s. So, Jimi Hendrix, whether he knew of her or not, his own iconic style, she was the precursor of black people and a black woman playing a rock and roll guitar in a truly iconic style. But not only was she playing a rock and roll guitar, she played church music, she played gospel music, and she never left her religion behind. She never left her faith behind. God graced her with a gift of, of a style of music, which would then be a gift and a grace for the world. So whether you like rock music or not, whether you love gospel, just think of the fusion of gospel and rock and roll, Sister Rosetta Tharp, phenomenal woman. She was the foundation of all of that. <laughs>